Okay, everybody, I'm Tony Mason with Tony Mason Real Estate School. What I want to do in this video is I want to uh, explain to you the difference between Irv, the appraiser, and his cousin, Irv, the banker, right? So Irv, the appraiser, and Irv, the banker, they are cousins. They look the same. I is equal to R times V, right? So written exactly the same way. But they're not brothers, they're cousins, right? The, so for example, I have a cousin that looks just like me, right? And Irv, you write it the same way, I is equal to R times V, whether you're dealing with Irv the appraiser or Irv the banker, right? But the letters mean different things, okay? So Irv the appraiser, the I is the net operating income, the income, the NOI. The R is the cap rate. And remember, you have to use the cap rate as a decimal number, not as a percentage number, right? And then the V is the value of the property. It's Irv the appraiser, you're dealing with the value of the property. Irv the banker, the I stands for the interest, the yearly interest. Um, it's a yearly interest, right? And then the interest rate written as a decimal number, and then the value of the loan. You're dealing with loans here with Irv the banker, right? So what is it that happens? Mathematically, one number times another number gives you an answer. So I could tell you, you know, uh, 12 is equal to three times four. That means that 12 divided by the three will equal the other number, the four that's being multiplied, or 12 divided by four will give you the other number that's being multiplied to three, right? So this is just a mathematical principle. In math, you could write it left to right or right to left, right? But whenever you have one number times another number and you get an answer, you could always take the answer and divide it by one of the two numbers that's being multiplied to get the other number that was being multiplied. So look here, Irv, I is equal to R times V. That means that I divided by R is equal to V. And that means that I, the answer, divided by V is equal to R, right? Now, what happens? Let's take, for example, Irv the appraiser, right, as an example, right? Let's say that I say to you the following. I tell you that you have a gross income, so gross income of 60000 and you have expenses of 20000 and you have a cap rate of 10%. And I say to you, calculate value. Now look, calculate value of what? The property. We're dealing with the property value here, so we're dealing with Irv the appraiser, not Irv the banker, right? And the idea is, the first thing I do is I write down I is equal to R times V, right? My memory aid, Irv the appraiser. I'm trying to get the value, this one. So I need this one alone on, the, on one side of the equal sign, right? So I divided by R will equal what? V, right? Now, what does the I in Irv the appraiser stand for, right? The I in Irv the appraiser is the net operating income, right? Here, $60,000 is my gross income, gross, minus the expenses of $20,000. That leaves me with $40,000 as the NOI or the net operating income. So $40,000 NOI divided by what the R, the cap rate. Now, I can't use the cap rate as a percentage number. I have to change it to a decimal number. 10 divided by 100, 0.1. So 0.1. If I take 40,000, the net operating income, divided by the capitalization rate, that gives me $400,000 as the value, right? So that's an example of using Irv the appraiser, right? The idea is it's you're getting the estimate of value of a property using income capitalization. What do you do? You need to know this. The net operating income divided, not the gross income, the net income divided by the capitalization rate gives you the estimate of value, right? All right, now, what if I tell you the following, right? What if I tell you that you have a, uh, a loan of 80,000 and I tell you you have an interest rate of 11% and I ask you to calculate the yearly, the yearly interest on this loan, right? Well, look, there I'm dealing with a loan, so it's Irv the banker, right? Same thing, I write down Irv, I is equal to R times V. Here, the I is the yearly interest, 
The R is the interest rate as a decimal number, and this is the value alone. So here, I already have, I don't have to change it because the I is alone on one side of the equal sign. Whichever one you're trying to solve is going to be alone, right, on one side of the equal sign. So 80,000 is the loan value, right? And the interest rate, what do I need to do with this number 11? 11 divided by 100, 0.11, right? 0.11. So if you take 80,000 times 0.11, you get $8,800. Now, what is that? That is yearly interest, right? Yearly, right? Because the what happens is in Irv the Banker, the I is the interest per year. So what let's let's go through this again. Okay, so you have Irv, it's written the same way, whether it's Irv the appraiser or whether it's Irv the banker, the same letters, but the letters stand for different things, right? And if you're dealing with property values, you're using Irv the appraiser, right? If you're dealing with loans, you're using Irv the banker. Everybody remember I have videos available to prepare you for the Real Estate Sales Associate State Exam to cover everything, laws, principles and practices, and more math. It's a comprehensive preparation for the state exam. I also have videos available to prepare you for the Real Estate Broker State Exam. Uh, again, comprehensive, goes through everything. Um, and you can visit TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. Um, that's the website. For more information, I also have the full online courses, uh, Sales Associates online course and Real Estate Brokers online course. Um, and thank you. Bye.